Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Saglage, aka Sag. Today I'm bringing you some domination gameplay on the map Riot. And as we all know, Riot is one of my favorite maps on this game. Um, just a great standpoint as far as domination goes. The flags are very neutral for both sides. But this isn't really commentary on the game, on the domination gameplay. This is just to talk to you guys. It's been a little bit of time since I've actually had... Just a conversation uh, with you all, and I just wanted to take some time out of my day and see how you guys are doing, and talk about a little something. Uh, something's been on my mind lately, nothing bad, nothing bad at all, it's just, uh, it, every now and then people go in slumps for a little bit, and as far as like gaming goes, uh, every now and then I'll get kind of in the slump where I don't really want to play, but... Or I want to play and not record, or I, you know, I'm just too lazy. Whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. That's not the point I'm trying to make here. Point is, I'm getting excited as to what's coming up, and we are getting close to the holiday season as far as gaming goes. We are getting into the grind here soon of what's to come. In particular, as you guys can see, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. Um, like the games, there's, I mean, there's pros and cons to every game. Um, but the thing is, you can't, you can't sit here and have a channel, not, not really a main topic of your channel, but have a channel that has gameplay and just talk trash about it. Like, yeah, there's things in life and everything that has its downside. But with that being said, if you enjoy it, play it. If not, just don't, don't waste your time, you know? So, anyway... What I came here to tell you guys is the excitement aspect as to what's to come. And I'm excited for Black Ops 3. I know a lot of people are. A lot of people are, you know, getting hyped, all that. And the latest information to come out was at San Diego Comic Con. And it was the reveal trailer for Zombies. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But, guys, Zombies in general is just a great great aspect of the game something that Treyarch has prided themselves to being better than any other company who has been part of the Call of Duty sequence so we're in a we're in a day and age that social media has driven has become accessible at all times I mean guys I'm, I'm old enough to remember when we had dial-up internet and if you, if you try to get on dial-up internet, you better hope that no one gets on that phone because otherwise you're cut off and we don't have, and you don't have that accessibility until you dial it back up and uh, get on it. So, but, so I'm getting a little off track here. Um, but yeah, uh, talking about a media-driven day and age. Um, basically, uh, what has happened now is... Uh, our first look, our first interpretation, like, when, when it's announced, that I remember seeing things and speculating as to what the next title is going to be. What, what's going to come, and what area, what time, what setting, what, what just what's it going to be? And we are now in that point where we have been given the information as to it being Black Ops 3. Uh, it happened in, I believe, a couple years in the future compared to now, but it's still somewhat achievable um basically what i'm getting at is that the developer treyarch invited people down invited famous youtubers uh press just different different things uh different media outlets to come down and test a alpha build of the game just to get a uh, feel and an output as to what to expect I find this to be super a super great idea. I'm sure it's not the first time they did it, but it's the first time it the developer has given so much exposure to the people out there to see what's going on. This I feel that publicity, whether it's good or bad, is still publicity. But what we've heard so far, and I mean, there's going to be pros and cons to everything in life, but the fact is what we've heard are a lot more good than bad. Um, 
the developer, like I said, when they called out YouTubers and press and just people in general to come out and test a game to see what it is. I mean, it's one thing if they just allow them to test it and then talk about it without any footage. Guys, we have gotten footage, alpha build footage, as to what's to expect. They allow YouTubers to talk about what's been out there. And it's just something to get more and more excited about as we go. And I'm feeling like a kid in a candy store right now, guys. I don't, I, you know, I have a, I have something as to what to expect. But at the same time, I'm like, hey, what, what more do we get, you know? And they announced the beta test to start on PlayStation, which PlayStation now has the rights to the first exclusives. Um, they announced that to be the 19th of August for the beta. And guys, I've already pre-ordered my thing. I put in the code right away for the beta test. Um, not really sure how it's going to be, but basically I have the information linked to my PlayStation stating that I will have uh, a beta code when it comes out. And so I'm excited to, I'm excited to get on it and see, like see what's going to happen like multiplayer and yes i know it's not a finished product i don't expect it to be flawless i expect it to be something close to finish if they need to make a couple of tweaks so be it if there's going to be an overpowered gun right now that's okay because you know what they make they're still making like patches to either nerf or buff other guns in advanced warfare We've gotten a lot of feedback. They're getting a lot of information given to them before the game is actually put out. And hopefully they will process this and put it to put out the best game. Uh, David Vondahar, he is really big into connecting with the players. He's really big about teasing people. But the fact is, it shows me that he's so involved in his product that he cares for the actual game and not just sells. Um, some, some companies are in the, in the, in the game for money, and let's face it, that's always a plus, but I don't feel that he's just in it for the money, so, you know, he, he seems that he cares, he seems like he wants the output, and it shows that they want to make the game and get it out as soon as possible to make as much improvements that is needed. The multiplayer... Like I said, it's gonna have some glitches. It's gonna have some things, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna bring to it an open mind. Give my impressions not before I play, but as I'm progressing, as I see what's going on, and I'm not gonna say one way or another until the beta is closed. Until I've had enough time to actually test it out. Yeah, there's great things as like first impressions, and you know. But I want to do not only a first impression video, like first game or whatever, but I want to do an overall how I felt for the beta. And that's that's just something that's going to be great. I feel um, I feel that Black Ops, the Black Ops um, saga, if you want to call it, the Black Ops trilogy, is the best storyline so far. Um, don't get me wrong, there's been great stories throughout the Call of Duty era. But I feel that Black Ops has a linear story that allows you to continue down what's going on. And I want to see what exactly it hopes to accomplish in the storyline. So I will be playing a playthrough of the story when it comes out. Of course, of course, multiplayer is like the main functionality in today's day and age. So of course, I will. you, you guys know me, I'm still grinding on the Advanced Warfare multiplayer. Um, but as well as, guys, I still play, and like, if I had World at War still, I would still be playing World at War Zombies on top of Black Ops. Uh, me and Rob, we, we plug in Black Ops 2, which, you know, the Zombies on Transit wasn't that great, but it's something different. Uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies was, like, the, like, the pentacle of, like, the highest stage of Zombies so far, and... They did everything right, and I feel that with the trailer coming out and the reveal, I feel that this is going to be something that's going to be good. Uh, I want to see the like the differences, the new things they're bringing in. I like the 
bosses or like the gumball machine. I like all of that, guys. I just want to see. I actually, I'm, I'm really liking like some of the YouTubers do a storyline, and some of them are speculating a lot of things that make a lot of sense. And I do, I am a sucker for good stories. So, basically, in a conclusion of the, of my rant, ramble, whatever you want to call it, I'm excited to what's going to become this next month or so. You know, I, I got more things than just Call of Duty coming up, but I'm excited to see from this aspect what's going on. So, guys, please be... Please be aware that I have a lot of things coming up for just Call of Duty in itself, as well as other things in my channel. But, guys, be excited. Black Ops 3 is almost here. What are your takes? I want to see your thoughts on the process but with that being said, leave a like if you did, comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't. Also, check in my description below for my Twitter, as well as my YouTube channel. Check out some other videos, and I have, hope you have a great night. Peace.